Hi Aquarius, welcome to your past life karmic lessons. And let's take a look what are the things that you still need to fulfill from your past life and that you need to finish in your present life. Please take note that this is a general reading, so it might resonate to all of you. It might not. Let's take a look. Looks like you're a necromancer in your past life. Mm -hmm. Karmic relationship. Transportation, food and hunger. Asia, phobias. Unrequited love. Aquarius, you're actually a survivor, okay? And uh, you used to be a... Um, you're from the long line of either it's um, family of witches or necromancers, all right? But you were actually enslaved or um, imprisoned in the past. And uh, you were born in a very... Well, simple but above average family in fact that you're very close to your animals or to your um, you're very close to nature so you love simplicity of life quiet and away from the city you can actually live in both but if you were to choose where do you really want to reside or where do you really want to retire you just want to be close to nature altogether all right and you've had some issues with your father as well because your father used to abuse you and they beat you up when you were when you were a child and used to lock you up in a dark place could be like a closet in a dark room or you know and i'm also seeing a room that's full of grains and uh, pests so i feel like uh, you do have some fear when it comes to um uh tight places or small spaces and pests and uh, dark and being stuck okay every time that you're you're also afraid of being alone so you always wanted to have some some company all right so and you've also lived as a male and female so you do have strong feminine masculine or you have both either you're bisexual you're gay or you have you're just too you know uh either you're too boyish or you're too girlish at this point and uh you were an old soul however when you met somebody you there is a karmic relationship that you that you still need to finish because there is a promise that you need to fulfill which you never did okay now your destiny will start rolling this uh, actually it already started last year because there has been some signs and there has been some symbols that you're just you know practically ignoring and the you know the universe is trying to get your attention but you're not really paying attention so and as i've said you know you're very close to nature you're both introvert and extrovert and you love camping or you love celebrating the uh, you know the good weather and stuff like that doing some sun dancing and stuff like that and you're a traveler However, I feel like, uh, okay, you traveled and you were first born in Asia. However, there are a lot of fears, okay? And I feel like you came from uh, a religion of uh, Buddhism as well. And you were born with a lot of phobias, or you believe in Buddha, okay? Or with kind of religion and stuff like that. And you've always suffered from an unrequited love. It, it actually rooted from your father. All right so and you have gone through such poverty that's why right now you hate it when there's a food that's being spoiled or you know how to recycle food because you don't like it when you know when something comes to a waste okay now I feel like you have gone through a lot of several things in your past lives especially being imprisoned for practicing magic because in the place where you were in the where you were in the past, it is actually forbidden to practice that kind of belief. Okay? 
Um, I don't feel like you were you were killed or you were hung in public or burned alive, but I feel like you were you know you were imprisoned because of that. Now you have that certain, let's say you have that certain um, situation in your waking life right now that you feel so stuck to, even though that is what you really wanted to do. But it's like it's there are a lot of impossible stuff that's already coming your way, and there are a lot of blockages. Okay, every time that you wanted to do that, it's. Uh, there are a lot of things that's been happening to you so there are times that you feel like oh maybe it's not really meant for me i gotta stop doing that because i've been i've been keeping in you know and in getting into trouble but i feel like the reason why there are a lot of blockages is because you are doing it the wrong way or you want the easy way so you have to go around you know go around the boulder if there is a huge stone right in front of you treat it as a um you know just climb on the stone or whatever that's been blocking you, blocking your way, and treat it as another level or another, you know, um, another way. Other, otherwise, you can just go around it. Never ever let or anything stop you, or never ever let any blockages or whatever elements it is to stop you from reaching your destiny. All right? And I feel like there are also some there are also some stuff like for example um the harder your path will be it means that you are about to reach your destiny okay and you've always suffered from an unrequited love you're you're always looking for that paternal love okay Either you disappointed your father in your waking life or you always have that issue about your father, especially that your father expects too much from you or your father keeps on belittling you. All right. Now let's take a look. What are the things that you need to and who is this karmic relationship that you need to reconnect with and fulfill your promise? Okay. I feel like you made a promise to somebody that you're going to be ending up with them or that you're going to be marrying them. But it seems like it never happened because you've lived a life full of hmm, difficulties. And you don't want to go back to that person because you wanted to prove yourself that you're worthy of their choice, that you're worthy of their life. All right? No. You never really made it to this person because it's like you chickened out. It's it's like they're right before you it's like right before you want to go back to this person, you want to prove to them that you know that you're a better person that you've made your 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 mark finally and uh it's like and not to be so proud but i feel like you you just want to be somebody who's worthy of their choice who is worthy to be a part of that you know of that world of that circle but unfortunately you have gone through a lot of strife you have gone through a lot of difficulties to the extent that i feel like you just chose to move away without any explanations without any goodbyes without any closure all right and that is the reason why you've always suffered from an unrequited love now who is this person that you need to fulfill your promise to Okay, attraction. You're a very attractive person, but you need to learn how to trust. Okay, you do have big trust issues. There is somebody around your life or someone that's about to come into your life, but you need to free yourself from your self-doubt, self-sabotaging stuff and, or, or attitude and uh, reservations and inhibitions. Give somebody a chance to be part of your life. Don't shut them down. Make the effort. Keep an open mind. 
you will be engaged to somebody who is, you know, who's already existing or about to exist in your life, who is of a different religion, language, culture, tradition, and, you know, um, culture, tradition, and belief, um, I feel like, uh, of a different ethnicity as well. You just need to let go of control issues because you're too perfectionist. And this person, this could be the one. Okay? It's safer to love. Stop walling yourself up. Stop building that tower and stop building that, you know, that defense away from the world. Because no man is an island. And I feel like at this point, you need to show your vulnerabilities for other people to see who you really are. You don't need, you don't really need to wear a mask. Okay, in finances and career, you have gone through a lot of strife and difficulties because you want to prove yourself and until now that is what exactly is happening, okay? This person is worth waiting for. You just need to learn how to talk. Release your ex, forgiving and learning, and playfulness. You need to loosen up a bit. You're too serious in life. You're always too uptight. You're a very happy and jolly person. But when it comes to relationships, you always have that high expectations to yourself and to your relationship and to your partner. And most of the time, you create, I mean, you expect as your partner to be your, uh, to be your, um, for you to work as a team and you expect your partner to be a part of your business to be a part of your work or to be a part of your show okay your partner will always be your partner and if you will be mixing business with your partner then it will become more of a workmanship rather than a relationship okay now let's see you need to release your ex unrequited love getting to know each other children express your love you're so actually you're so afraid of having children even though you wanted one but you will always suffer from an unrequited love not unless that you will be fulfilling that unfinished business from the past okay you need to get to know each other and you need to learn how to express yourself because you always bottle yourself up you always bottle your emotions your you know whatever that's in your mind and i feel like this time it's time for you to unleash it express yourself and let your hair down for aquarian women okay now stop holding on to the past you need to let go because i don't because you know the one that you're with right now is most likely a karmic relationship that there is only something that you need to fulfill either is a promise an obligation or responsibility or something that you should have done okay when you were first together in your past life now you need to make a um you know you need to make a decision very soon and i feel like it's time for you to release your um passionate and language side okay you're also a very passionate person passionate in sex and love domestically with your children and stuff like that but people see you as a very cut off and dry very uh, uh like a warrior act acting like a warrior and you're very cold but you know if someone actually knows you or if someone could read you you're a very warm sensitive child at heart you know, and uh, a very loving, caring person, a very thoughtful as well, okay? You're a very good daughter or son or a very good sibling. But when it comes to relationships, you always show your defensive side. You always show your cut off and dry side. And as I've said, when you're in a relationship, don't treat your partner as a business partner. Okay? So, now, pay attention to the red flags and soulmates. Well, this, your soulmate right now is the one who have shown a lot of red flags in the past. But this is your soulmate. They're more likely your karmic soulmate. And either you've already been married to this person, you marry this person, or you're about to get married. Okay? Or if you're already with somebody, then definitely there will be a... um. A wedding at the horizon but the problem here is i feel like the past will just repeat itself again or the history re will repeat itself again 
Now you need to ask for some guidance from your healthy friends, especially if this the the connection is very strong. However, there is also some heal, uh, family healing issues that you need to heal, which is I feel like the the, the issues with your father. Okay, so. Let's take a look more at your general cards or general reading. If what are the things that you still need to remind yourself about? All right. And we will also determine who is that person that you, you know that you need to fulfill your promises to which is I feel like it's another air sign another air or fire sign okay one thing is that you need to learn how to communicate most of the time you just cut people off you just shut down you just you know you just let people read your mind and throw some body language but not all people are mind readers okay and one more thing is don't be so defensive and there are some people who wants to help you out not all of them are about to you know take whatever that's yours take advantage of you take advantage of your generosity or take whatever you have sometimes people come into your life as you know what the universe have sent to you and they just wanted to help you out so don't wall yourself up too much and don't wallow over what's built i mean sometimes you just show to other people and ah, that is okay you know it's not my loss so what but then deep inside of you, you're very sentimental and you're very emotional, you're very sensitive. And sometimes you hide through your fears and you hide through the pain like a child. Okay. The, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes you're tired of being strong and you only wanted somebody to comfort you and not to judge you. All right. Now, finances right now, you are very... You always have to fight for whatever you want. You always have to work hard to obtain a life that you want. Don't let anybody dominate you. If, As I've said, okay, if you have a partner right now, don't treat them as a business partner. If you want them to have a career of their own, support them, but don't work as a team in one, you know, in one business. Because there are two things that can happen. Either you're going to depend too much on them and consume them, or they're going to consume you and depend too much on you. Okay. So the promise that you need to make to somebody, you need to fulfill that. And uh, you also need to honor your word. Okay. I also feel like you need to... Uh -huh. You also need to learn how to open up your heart, how to open up your your eyes and your mind. All right. Now here, as I've said, that you don't be too walled up. Okay. Don't isolate yourself. Don't push people away, because at the end of the day, you hate being alone. But that is what you're doing to yourself. Quit the self-sabotaging attitude and behavior. Okay, when there is somebody around you, you tend to move away. And you're you're a very proud person. That's why in your past life you you know you wandered off and you traveled away just to prove yourself that someday you can be somebody. But unfortunately life did not really, you know, give you that much favor and luck because your intention is wrong. All right, so you need to rectify your life path by having and doing the right intention. You only need to impress yourself and not anybody else. You cannot please everybody. You cannot please all the people around you. Okay, everyone will always scrutinize you 
will always uh, say something against you, especially if they feel so insecure about you. You know, you know the peop the more people say a lot of harsh things to you, the more they put you down. The it it, it actually symbolizes that they are, you know, that they are so insecure and they see you as a threat. They see you more as someone who is better than them. That's why by saying a lot of, you know, a lot of things, which is mostly they always put you down just for them to earn a leverage. Okay. So don't let anybody put you down and don't let that affect you. Okay. Be confident. You're very confident and a very, um, you know, self-assured person. And you also need to learn how to move on from the past. There is somebody else from the past that you're still clinging on. But this person is not really meant for you. Okay? The one that you're already with or the one that's going to be coming into your life starting from September, October, and November for singles. This is the one that you're going to be having a karmic connection with. Okay? Whether it's for good or whether it's for a negative thing. If it's like a karmic soulmate then definitely there's only something that you need to learn and then you need to move on okay you also need to unleash the the watery side of you and you need to it's like you need to what do you call this um you need to be a little bit more soft and mellow all right you love traveling and I feel like you need to live within your means. You need to learn how to handle money. You need to learn how to manage your own finances. Otherwise, let your partner do this to you. Because this is what you what caused your downfall. You, some Aquarians, okay? I'm not saying that everyone or all Aquarius are not really good in managing or handling money. Some Aquarians are actually a very good business person, okay? But the Aquarius that I am talking about here are those who doesn't know how to manage their own finances okay and don't cut people off be a little bit more diplomatic and uh, try to understand the human nature all right not all the time that you can just cut off those people who you know who had done something to you said something to you right behind your back that's part of human nature but what's important is that sometimes you can make a use of them okay and being a parent or being good to your mother I feel like there's also something that you need to fulfill. You also need to learn how to forgive your father. If you have some father issues or if you have disappointed your father in the past. And I feel like that is also the reason why you're having a lot of strife. And why people put you down or see you through as somebody who is never gonna, ever going to make it. Okay? You are a survivor. You are a traveler. You want to travel over the world or you want to see different types of people culture traditions learn different languages appreciate life okay but when once you're already in a relationship or once you're already in a you know bigger commitment you have to change your goals and your targets it's not about proving yourself it's not about proving your worth but it's about being someone who's worthy of someone else's choice Okay, you don't have to you don't have to impress anybody. You only need to impress yourself. Okay? So and uh, by the way, don't uh, don't make your relationship as an investment. All right? When you love, love with all your heart. Don't keep on going back and forth because you always hold on to the past. You always hold on to the ex, you always hold on to the person that you have heard it even though when you were still together all you do is just keep on hurting and ignoring their feelings and doesn't even communicate all right so that's the thing that you need to learn in this lifetime okay so if you want to have your own past life reading just go and visit me at my website it's sophieangel.net and um, you may talk to me live on the phone or live video calls all right or offer pre-recorded video readings all right Blessings to you.